Hi there! If you're a new viewer, welcome to my Hacker Rank series. And if you're returning, welcome back! Let's get started with the minion game. This is the first medium level of difficulty uh, in Hacker Rank that I will be tackling with you. So let's go ahead and solve this challenge. So, like always, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I've got a Jupyter notebook on the right side. I've got uh, where I code for Hacker Rank in the middle, and I've got the description of the task to the left. Kevin and Stuart want to play the minion game. Both players are given the same string, S, like banana. That's the example that I'll be running with. Both players have to make substrings using the letters of the string S. So imagine the word banana. You're going to be making small pieces of the word banana. Uh, Stuart has to make words starting with consonants. So if you don't know what consonants are, are the ones that are not part of vowels, which are the ones with the sound. So A, E, I, O, U are the vowels, which they have sound. And consonants are like B, N, K, L, M, the ones that are not without the sound, really. The game ends with both players have made all possible substrings. Scoring. A player gets plus one point for each occurrence of the substring in the string S. For example, if you have got banana, Kevin's well beginning word Anna. Here, Anna occurs twice in banana, hence Kevin will get two points. For better understanding, see the image below. And I highly recommend you understanding this image below. All right, what I will do, I'll expand this whole window so you can see that. So the word banana, if it's a consonant that goes, the score goes to Stuart. And if it's a vowel, A, E, I, O, U, that goes to Kevin. So the first letter is B. So Stuart gets one score for B. And then the next one is A. Stuart is not going to get it. Kevin is going to get it. And you've got three A's here. So you will have one here, one here, one here. And Kevin gets three scores for that. You only have one B, so Stuart gets only one. The next consonant one is N, which goes to Stuart. And because there are two of it, Stuart gets two. But I really want you to identify a pattern. So if you consider a letter B, there are a couple of different combinations of this starting with B. So it's B itself, B A, B A N, B A N A, B A N A N, and the word banana itself. So you can understand. If I were to take whatever Stuart is going to be scoring, I would have to say, hey, give me the letter B and then give me how many different length of words can I make out of B. For example, let me just go back to my Jupyter notebook. So if we say the string is banana, and if I were to find different combinations of B, I would say, well, I will have B itself then I will have BA. And you can imagine that I'm adding one letter starting from B. Then I will have BAN. It should be easy. Once I identify a letter, whether it is a consonant or a vowel, Stuart or Kevin, I can say, well, it's a consonant that goes to Stuart. Okay. And then I, can, I will have one point for B only, another point for B and A, another point for BAN, and so forth. So you might wonder, how am I planning to do this? Well, to start with, I will make a new string and call it um, vowels. And that's going to be A, E, I, O. The other thing that I will need is a placeholder for Kevin scores. So I will just call it Kevin scores. And in the beginning, it's zero. And that's the same applies for uh, Stuart's. So Stuart scores also equals zero. If you wanted to be smarter, you could easily say Kevin's scores equals Stuart's scores and all equals zero. And that will do it. And the next thing I really need is the length of whatever string that I will be given. You know that we can use the len function over the string, which is banana here. I will set these three. The next thing I will need to do is actually go over banana one by one. All right, to tackle this, I want to start with looking at the range of length. This is going to become important. I want to understand how long is the word or the phrase that the user has given me. So banana, I understand it is six in terms of length. But in Python, we start counting from zero. That's why it looks like this. So the first letter will be B. I will take B. He will get one for B one for BA, BAN, and so forth. 
So you can easily imagine that I have to go over the range of that length. So I will go over the range of that length. And then the, the question will be, well, am I in the vowels world or am I in the, in the consonants world? So the first one, B, will be in the consonants. I will say if string of the ith position, and the first one will be zero, which is B, if a string of the ith position is in vowels, which is not, if it is in vowels, so Kevin will start accumulating scores. So if it is not in the vowels, Stuart will start accumulating. But how do we do that? If you remember, I told you that we will start from B and go all the way. So that will be the length of that string. But every time we move I, we will have less values to start scoring for. For example, when we are in the zero position, which is B, we have five different combos that we can make. It is B, BA, BAN, BANA, and so forth. But the next time we get to N, we only have N, NA, NAN, and NANA. So I need to subtract the I from the length. So I'll do the same for here, and that's it. This is all the algorithm that you will need. So let's run this, and I will look at Kevin scores. You will see that it's nine, and if I look at Stuart scores, it is 12, and that's exactly what we were given in the example. So now it comes to the point that I need to compare them. So I will say, if Stuart scores are greater than Kevin scores, then all you need to do is print, um, and I will use the formatting, I'll say Stuart and Stuart scores. That should print that for Stuart. Then elif Kevin scores are greater than Stuart scores, then the program should say um, Kevin, and I need an F to format this. Kevin, and put Kevin scores in here. Um, and if they are draw, all I need to say is print draw. So you will see that I got Stuart 12. So what I will do, I will copy these into the coding area. If you've been following my series, you will know that here is where we write the instructions, like the recipe for making pizza. And here is actually where we do that. So let's write the instructions first. I will paste it here. Just make sure you tap the second line forward. Let's just get rid of those additional lines. And then I will copy this part. Again, I will have to tap any line from the second line onwards. And the last one will be the comparison bit. So if I put the comparison bit, again, tap any line after the second one. And let's submit to this code and let's keep fingers crossed. Yes, it did work for the first test case. Let's submit it final test. All these tests should run. Ooh, one of them did not, two of them failed. Uh, what is wrong? Uh, draw obviously needs to be a string and not as is. So submit it again. Hopefully this fixes it. Yep, beautiful. All test cases ran. Um, if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this one and hope to see you in the next challenge.